In today's video we're gonna talk about hot dive they kindly sent me one of their mobile diving housings uh, like a universal universal dive housing for your phones and actually it's future proof because it can hold the most of the brands out there even the bigger phones uh, actually they sent me the pro version which is contains dive computer and this is amazing so the housing comes in this little hard case as you open it you find a nice pouch also inside we find this nice little bag and what we have here extra o-ring a nice little hot dive microfiber cloth to clean your lenses and everything we have a lanyard so you don't lose it or you don't drop it under water because it's heavy micro USB type C that's very good to see as well uh, a card I don't know what says Chinese or Japanese I don't know so the only thing that I can imagine that it's used take out the old dooring and place the new one and last but not least Focus. Oh, I forgot to mention in the box also we find the user's manual, which is like a big thing. Yeah, with everything you need to know. If you lose it or if you don't have it inside the box, don't worry. When you scan the application, everything goes to your phone. So that's the housing here, it's aluminum or aluminium, how you call it, depends which part of the world you are, you're from. It looks very steady to me, it's like super steady housing, it weighs 1.2 kilos, it's quite hefty. We have built-in light, 500 lumens and 800 lumens. We have built-in dive computer, as we said earlier, and in that thing up here, we have built-in automatic vacuum pump. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I'm losing my mind, me. So, what you have to do when you buy your housing? I have a QR code here. Yeah, you open your camera on your phone, you scan the QR code, you download the application and the applications look like this, which is a official page and official video of the diving housing. You press to dive, we ask you to open Bluetooth because it connects with Bluetooth on your phone. You see here that's my housing you press there it connects and comes straight away to the camera yeah here i have the samsung galaxy s8 plus so it's quite big phone you place it in on the screen here on this side you see we have one silicon uh, pad it goes against to your uh, screen to hold it in place so we have a nice locking mechanism here 
You see we have the holes here. So you put the latch on. You're closing down. Yeah. And here is the magic. Here you can see the housing actually is bended because the o-ring is not seated properly. What I can do now is I can press it and make it firmly nice and tight and straight and everything. And here we see the LED light, red LED light. That means that we're not vacuum sealed. We open this a little bit, that cup here. Yeah, we have our buttons here. That's the LED button that operates our light. But if you press it for three seconds, one, two, three. Look at the bend on the screen. Oops. The bend goes away, so that means that it's vacuum very good. And it's actually straight and the door for us. Yeah? Now the LED here. It goes green. Good news. And it stops. That means it's ready. You can stop it manually as well, if you wish. Yeah, actually my phone shifted a little bit. But you can see what I tell you before. Uh, sorry. You see the silicone part up here. It doesn't squeeze my screen so hard to make it losing colors or whatever. We do that we need to do that half an hour before we dive. 20 minutes or something like that. So you can be sure that you don't losing any air from the housing. The vacuum shield, it helps it also to prevent fogging. We have nice trigger button here and we have very good and nice clear menu. So let me show you. Here is the actual application. Yeah, with my phone and everything. If you press, it says success. Press one. The focus, they say focus completed, zoom in, everything clear, zoom out, everything fine. You press the mode button, it goes to video, you press one more time, fake, one more time, selfie video, one more time, one more time, and go back again. Menu now. It says scuba diving. You can press here. Oh, sorry, that's preview. So press menu. You go to the scuba diving. Uh, the exposure. It's automatic for me now. Uh, I think that's preview quality. I'm not sure. But if you press, you can change it to low. No, I think it's the picture quality to high the, that's the quality 2k 4k 2k again and 1080p I'm gonna leave it to 2k that's good you can see here it says preview so if we press that here's the picture that we the picture that we take earlier for three seconds the autofocus button we go on the scuba diving mode and a compass that's amazing for me that's amazing look at that depth max depth temperature heading actual time not dive time or bottom time actual time dive time safety stop and of course our battery yeah if you try to shutter to take a picture it goes back to picture mode what else you can ask from a from a diving housing that's amazing well, that's that's something else
the light is still green so that means we don't losing air or something now because i try earlier to open the the housing it's not possible to open it even if you take the latch and try to squeeze it open i can't open it because it's vacuum sealed you remember so you t you unscrew that cap here now the light goes red put that thing back you screw that back into place and now look now it's open that's it so to me if i'm not into underwater videography or photography and i'm not having like a canon m50 to shoot underwater or a nikon or a big camera or or even gopro with a light like that which is take time to set up it takes space on your uh, handbag or your luggage or whatever or if you don't use another camera with a diving housing or if you don't don't have a gopro you know what i mean everywhere you go the first thing that you take with you is your phone it's easy as that i have my phone actually my phone charges with usb type c which is i have one cable yeah open my diving housing stick the cable here boom 2000 or 3500 milliamp hours battery it's gonna last for two, 20 days without to charge it so you have your charging for the uh, for your phone you charge your phone you charge your your case connect together that's it as always they say don't open between dives or diving housing i mean so what's the point to have another case to have my gopro my dome my batteries for the if you think only the batteries the two batteries that i uh, i need i need for those batteries that i need for my light it makes the the weight of the housing which is one kilo and only my light it's about one kilo plus my tray plus my dome port plus everything so if you're asking me if you are not like uh, the super photographer that goes with uh, big cameras and lights and expensive housings that's the easiest way you don't have to mess with memory cards you don't have to mess with extra batteries you don't have to mess with uh, strobe lights or oh, i forgot to show you a cc look at that 500 800 off uh, you know what i mean even if i close the lights here uh, one light i close here i have one light you see how dark it became 500 800 and close 